Let's go through the screenshots right quick. All right. I didn't even know what the fuck this was. Like, what, what context was this using? When I first seen this shit, I was like, God damn. What the, like, 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 maybe, maybe my dog was talking about, like, trolling or some shit. Like, I don't know why a 26-year-old acts like that. Uh, maybe he, I, I was trolling on stream and it was a little jokey joke. I even, I, bro, I hit up the fucking leaking ass nigga. I was like, send me the fucking context of this fucking shit right now. He sent me the whole screen recording of the conversation and they kicked his ass out. Like, I seen the video. He, they kicked his ass out. He couldn't get it all. You feel me? So I stopped coping with myself and I told myself, the nigga was just talking shit. Is that fact? He was just talking shit. There's no, it wasn't trolling. He was just probably talking shit about me. Yes or no? He was just talking shit, right? Right. That just is what it is. It's Bruce. I know Bruce. It's not nothing new. He talks shit. You could have known this nigga for 30 years. He gonna talk shit. This is what it is. This is what this nigga do. You feel me? But I was out of town. I was in California. I, I, was, I, was, I was tight. I was mad. I ain't gonna lie. But I was busy. I had work to do. So it is what it is. Like, it's not new to me. It's Bruce. Bruce talk shit. But I ain't think he would talk shit on me. Because I ain't never talked shit on this nigga in my life. In my life. But we're going to get into that. We're going to get into that. Two, this shit. This shit is just delusional, all right? It says, after Kanye Sweet announced the trip to the Japan trip, he thought they stole his ideas, so he blamed Rage because he was the only person. He told, Bruce, I don't know if you got brain rot or some shit, my nigga. I know every, you think everybody's trying to fucking copy you. Like, like you don't understand. Like He doesn't believe in coincidences. He doesn't believe in influence or shit. Everybody's just trying to copy him. Everybody's just watching him to copy his... And no fucking streamer better call me during this stream. I'm not answering the fucking phone, nigga. Listen. The Japan shit was a boys thing, chat. It was a boys thing. It was a thing the boys were supposed to do. Kai was the one always on it. Yo, when are we doing it? 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 To the point where it was like last year in March, April, Kai's like, yo, what's going on? Like... Yo, if we ain't gonna do this, I'ma just go myself type shit. Kai created his Japan idea. He invited me, but I'm like, damn, I ain't gonna go. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna go if Bruce can't go. I ain't gonna do that. You know what I'm saying? If Bruce not gonna go, I ain't gonna pull out. I don't want this shit to be weird. I ain't doing it. And then Bruce invited me to Japan, and I couldn't. I had contractual obligations. I had streams to do and ads. I already signed papers. I couldn't go. So I didn't go to no fucking job. I don't know what the fuck that screenshot is, bro. I didn't know what the fuck that means, my nigga. But again, I'm not surprised because let me, let me, let me, let me tell you me and Bruce's relationship, right? And I know y'all think this is about to be an evisceration. Y'all want me to like end this nigga, bro. You gotta understand, this was my dog for years, my nigga. You're not some random bitch that I eviscerated on YouTube. You're not no pretty Fredo ass nigga. I don't give a, I know this nigga for years. I told this nigga everything in my life. You understand me? It's, it's, ain't, it's ain't even that. It's just, disapp it's just sad. It's just like disappointment type shit. You feel me? But listen, let me tell you me and Bruce relationship, right? So last year was the closest me and Bruce ever been. Like, I was telling this nigga everything. How many times I pissed today? He was telling me everything. Like, like shit going on in his life. We was venting. Like, we used each other to, like, vent and shit. We would talk on the phone. We were just vibing, right? Just chilling. That was my dog. That was my dog. Um, even when it I could see where his mind was going. Like, here's the thing, though. Y'all don't know Bruce, okay? I know y'all say the money changed him. I miss the old Bruce. I miss the, the old house Bruce. I miss... He's always been like this, nigga! Y'all don't know him. Money doesn't change... Y'all heard this saying. Money just amplifies your personality and shit. Money... He's always been like this. This is nothing new. That's why I wasn't surprised by none of this shit. But at the time... We used to vent to each other about this shit. So when he would tell me about shit or certain niggas or what he was feeling, I will hear him out. Because at the end of the day, chat, is about pers perspective and shit. I was hearing his perspective and I understood where he was coming from sometimes. But obviously, sometimes he was fucking tripping. So I'll be like, yo, maybe they did this because this, that, and the third. Maybe this nigga's not actually copying this, that, and the third. And so by the end of the conversation, he'd be cool. He'd be cool. Like, he'd be, he, he not, he not, he not, he not crashing out on fucking streams about niggas and shit. He just... It's cool. It's not boiling over, right? And everything I'm about to talk about, chat, he's talked about. I'm not leaking nothing. I'm not going to leak anything he's told me. I'm not that type of nigga. I ain't no whole-ass nigga. But a situation happened, chat. That kind of changed shit. In December, 
Shit was cool. But it was like a month without a boys' night type shit. You know how we are on stream. Me and Kyle be trolling and shit. Ah, Bruce don't fuck with us no more. He Hollywood. You know what I'm saying? He don't fuck with us type shit. Like, uh, uh. You feel me? Abdi made it into a video talking about some DYK over? Right? December of 2010 Yes. Not 10 minutes after that's posted. I open my group chat. This has never happened before. We've never gotten to nothing. This nigga is blacking on me. Bruce is shit. Call me all type of laggots, all type of hoe ass, all type of idiots, all type of clout shit, all type. I'm like. Nigga trying to talk gangster shit. I'm like, what the fuck? Who the fuck is you talking like What? Me? 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 The nigga you talk to about everything, the nigga I, I, I understand, like, me. I'm like, nah, nah, this nigga bugging. Ain't no way. So I start talking my shit. Like, we start arguing. We start, yeah, 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 yeah. Mid argument, this nigga gets on a burner and starts talking about, like, like what? Like, like, like a bitch would do on her fence store, on, on, on her live, talking to her hoes or some shit. On his fucking burner and shit. Talking about, I'm like, what the fuck? Niggas are clipping it, putting it in my community. I'm telling my mods, delete it. I don't want, he's crashing out, delete it. It's going to look bad. Just, just delete this shit out of the community. I don't want that shit to spread. Delete it. And, like, and I'm, I'm still thinking about this thing. I'm like, yo, he doesn't want people to know his burner. Just delete it. Then it's going to leak. His burner go, just delete. Just delete all clips. Delete all that shit. So we, we start arguing and shit. We're still arguing. We sending voice memos and shit. Nigga call me laggy. I'm like, yo, what, what is you talk? What is you? Just ask me to delete the video, my nigga. Because the nigga's worried about Twitter niggas being on his head or some shit. About a troll DYK video or some shit? I'm like, bro, just ask me to delete it and I'll delete it. He didn't even, he just went straight to whole ass, lagging ass, cold chase. Like, I'm like, what the fuck? So, this is kind of, I'm not going to play nothing he played, nothing he said. But this is kind of how it ended. This is like the last thing, one of the last things I said. You just gotta chill though, bro. Stop thinking niggas is out to get you some shit. You see this shit like yo, Ray's low key getting hate from that shit. Low key, I know, uh, just a few. Like, I ain't trying to have the niggas on my dick. That's it. But you get so, uh, yo, chill, nigga. Ain't nobody trying to come for your head. Like, bro, just chill. You feel me? Cause Bruce had like a, pro Bruce has like a, pro like he thinks everybody's out to get him or some shit. Some type of like the way his brain works sometimes, and I knew that. That's why I, I talked to him, and I like to see where 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 he's at with shit, and we will talk shit out. It, I, but like, I don't know, whatever. But we 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 talked it out. Everything was cool. But I don't know. Naturally, we kind of like move. We kind of like like we we kind of stop calling as much. Not intentionally. It's not like oh I ain't talking to that nigga no more. It just after that situation, we went a few months just kind of like backed up a little bit, just a little bit. We wasn't venting on the wall and shit like that. Not until like. Around kick time, he's asking me, yo, what you doing? You gonna sign the contract, shit like that? And that's when we kind of start talking a bit, little bit more and shit. But I don't know if during that time, he started, obviously he started venting to his fucking mods or some shit. Talking to his fucking mods. Talking to niggas like, Miss Kiff, my nigga? Like, why the fuck of all people does Miss Kiff know this is not a third about class and that? And why the fuck is there bots in my stream? The fuck was them chats? Listen, obviously that nigga went to a bunch of yes man ass nigga to vent, niggas to vent, fucking mods and shit. But that's the thing with Bruce. You gotta, I knew how to talk to the nigga. I know how to, you gotta tiptoe around Bruce. Cause you gotta watch what you say. Cause you don't know, this is exactly what happens. You gotta watch what you say or his, he'll start internalizing shit, seeing shit a different way. This is not a third, yada, yada, yada. This is not a third. Bro, you just to buy a bunch of yes men just sucking your fucking dick. You, you gonna crash the fuck out. They gonna validate all the bullshit you fucking thinking. Dumb it like fuck. Mods. My nigga. What? So after that, that's when you start seeing shit. He talk, he beefing with, with niggas on strain. He crashing out. Shit's boiling, boiling over. It's not a throw. We are talking a little bit, a little bit, but it just wasn't as often, right? I wrote some shit down because y'all know I'm a yapper. 
I ain't trying to get off topic and shit. I just want, like, I just point so, so, some points out and shit. You know what I'm saying? And, like, but when I had seen this, though, chat, I'm like, if he, if he's saying shit like this to his mods, and niggas like, Miskiff, who he don't give a fuck about? What the fuck is he saying to, like, his real homies and shit? And this is a nigga I told everything to, like, like, shit. In my head, he taken to the grave. That's the type of nigga I trusted shit with. Type, you feel me? So what the fuck is he saying to, like, his homeboys? Or, his, or you, you know, niggas he actually trust and shit. So I'm like, damn. So that shit kind of like, you know what I'm saying? But I always gave this nigga the benefit of the doubt. Because I know he don't do shit. It's like, it's just his head, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's just his, it's like his head. And Kai said it perfectly yesterday. My dog need therapy, gang. Like, y'all, I know y'all make fun of therapy and all this shit. But now I know roast and shit. My dog need therapy, bro. I don't know what it is. I don't know his. Like, like, half of Bruce is like the coolest, most real nigga. Like, I just want to be around that nigga. And there's another half sometimes that just, that's just negative. Negative, 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 like just negative and shit. I'm just like, fuck. But I always knew that. And like, I accepted that. But like, I was like working. I don't know, bro. Like, I, I don't even know how to explain. I don't even know. I don't even know how to explain it, my nigga. I just didn't think. I just didn't think. I'll see some bullshit on me. Actually, I did. I did think I'll see some bullshit on me, but I was like, Delu, I'm like, nah, he won't, he won't, he, he ain't gonna say some shit. He ain't gonna say no, no shit about me. But it is what it is. Um, listen, listen, listen. The CSGO shit with Kai. I seen him say, bro, bro, Bruce. CSGO was a boys' night idea. We were gonna play CSGO on stream. The boys fell out. So I went to Kai with the CSGO shit. Because, yeah, I seen a, a, a screenshot about, about CSGO. I went, I'm like, yo, I want a video first time playing CSGO. And I'll never play it again. That's literally what we did. I said, let's play CSGO. We played it, and we never played it again. That wasn't Kai copying this nigga, bro. That's not what that was, my boy. That's not what the fuck that was, gang. You feel me? And, like, and I know he... Like, it's just sad because right before all this shit dropped, chat, I was on the phone with this nigga for the first time in months. And we was talking. And he was telling me, Rage, I'm not the same person. I've changed. I'm changing. This and the third. This and the third. And I believe him. I actually believe, like, he's starting to, like, I know, oh, you're just falling for it. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, I truly believe him because he has, don't let this nigga tell you nothing. Bros, it, you have an ego of death. You have one of the biggest egos on. That's why when you was beefing with DDG and I said, y'all the same people, y'all both have ego. You have an ego. It just is what it is. Accept it. Accept it. But for him to say, like, he's working on his flaws and shit, that kind of made me happy. That's like, yo, that kind of made me happy. Like, we was on the phone. I'm like, damn, my nigga. That's some real nigga shit. A lot of niggas don't have the, they have too much ego to admit that shit. You feel me? So that was, a st that was like a step in the right direction. And boom, all this happens. I'm like, Fuck! And bro, let me tell y'all something, chat. This nigga is good at like, I don't want to call him a manipulator, but he's good at manipulating. You know what I'm saying? So listen, what's probably going to happen, he's probably going to come on here, blame everything on, they set me up, they put me in a call with DDG. Bro, chat, don't shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. There's nothing new. This was going on before DDG. This was happening after DDG. Just take accountability. Stop blaming people. Stop blaming things. Blame yourself. That is it. That is fucking it, my nigga. Okay, stop it. Stop it. Bruce is really good at making you believe what the fuck he's saying. It could be straight nonsense. A whole lot of nothing. But he is very good at making you believe what the fuck he's saying is facts. Facts. The whole check. He gonna come on stream most like a whole check be facts. You feel me? But I don't, he doesn't do it intense. That's just how his brain works, my nigga. That's just how his brain works on God. It, don't, don't, he's a, this has nothing to do with no fucking DDG situation, my nigga. I ain't gonna lie. You know who I seen while I was in LA? DDG. It wasn't even on purpose. Me and, I, I was chilling with Kalani. We ran into fucking DDG. I said, oh, what the fuck is up? When we looked, it was the day the Bruce shit was going on. We dapped each other up. He looked at me. I looked at him. He's like, I'm like, 
and we didn't talk about it. We just talked about some other shit, my nigga. He did not. He did not talk about DDG. He did not bring. I mean, he did not talk about Bruce. He didn't bring it up. But like, it was like if you know, you know. He tried to tell me, "I told you so" type shit. Like in his eyes, I could see it, and I was just like, <laughs> "Fuck up my face, nigga." I was just beefing with your ass, nigga. Fuck is he doing? Like, I, was, I was just cussing your ass out on stream, nigga. Fuck. You feel me? But uh. Yes, bro. Bruce just needs to figure some shit out, though. Like, I ain't... If I wasn't... Kai, bro. Kai handled yesterday's situation perfectly. Yes or no, chat. Yes or no. He did. I, I honestly think Kai handled that shit yesterday better than I would. Because this is the only little shit that I see that he talked about me. Just talking about some why I act like that if I'm 26 and, and some shit, some bullshit. But nigga like me... Oh, Lord. Yo. Like, oh, my God. I was mad over this little ass shit, but I had two days to, like, chill out. I had two days or a day, whatever the how long it's been. I had, like, two days to chill the fuck out. You feel me? But you a drama queen. Suck my dick, nigga. He let, he leaked the kick move, bro. I, I, just had to, I just had to accept that that's just who Bruce is, bro. People could change, but that's just who he is. Like it's sad. He's been wanting and Bruce. I know you've been wanting to talk to me. I, I you've been call you called me when I was on the plane yesterday. You call you've been wanting to talk to me, and it feels I feel bad. Chat, I, why do I feel bad, nigga? Cause I know how much this internet shit fuck. It fucks with my head, and I know how much it fucks with his head. And the whole world is just against him right now. And like niggas on his ass, niggas is trying to cancel him all this shit. And I know it's fuck. And I feel bad. Why the fuck do I feel bad for this nigga right now when it's his fault? Like I, I'm sitting there like, damn. He probably sitting there like dead ass, probably like, he don't know what the fuck to do. Why the fuck am I still thinking about his benefit? Like, fuck! But, again, I know y'all wanted me to visit. I don't hate the nigga. I don't. I, I don't. I, I know y'all are on Twitter. This is going to be the best fucking, he's going to end this. I don't want to do that. My nigga, I don't. I genuinely want Bruce to be his peak self. And it's that self without that negative shit that comes across. Bro, this isn't the first time. You know how many friendships, you know how many niggas? First of all, you other streaming niggas watching this shit, tighten the fuck up too. Because that nigga's not the only nigga like that, my nigga. These streaming niggas are weird. None of these niggas are friends. They do all this shit for the fucking internet, my nigga. All of it. I be talking to you, I'm like, damn. These niggas talk shit about these niggas like that. Yeah, they on they online like they, you know what I'm saying? All these niggas is fake, fake. And shout out to my fucking boy Max, cause even Max, before I knew Max, I just heard his name in like the streaming worlds, and niggas would be like, yeah, nah, he try to be like, yeah, yeah, he copied, yeah, yeah, nah, that nigga kind of, yeah. So like my first impression of Max, without knowing who he was, was like, oh shit, niggas I fuck with, Loki talking like they they say that Max niggas, you know what I'm saying? But then I really met this nigga this year. I'm like, this is one of the realest niggas I met on this internet shit. He's his own person. This is one of the realest niggas I met on this shit. And niggas was trying to gatekeep that nigga away from Like, what the fuck? Yo, these streaming niggas are weird. As soon as niggas blow up like Kai or coming up like Max, niggas try to, like, push him away. It's like, you niggas is... Ooh, I'm like, ooh. You niggas is lame, nigga. Lame as fuck, nigga. God damn, bruh. And listen, bro. I ain't about to, I ain't about to go in too much, bro. I, I look, look, Bruce. I I also didn't call you before this stream cuz I know how it would go. We'd be on the phone and Bruce is so good with his words, chat. Like I I I know I wouldn't say my 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 real thoughts and how I want to feel and what I want to say on this stream, my nigga. I'd be nerfed. Come to be thinking how this nigga feeling shit. You know what I'm saying? So you probably mad as fuck that I ain't call you before this, but it is what it is. It is what it is. And don't flip this around. You just come on this bitch in your next stream and just, I fucked up. That, there's nothing else you can say. I fucked up. That's it. I got some shit I gotta fix. That's it. Chat, when you notice a pattern with people, it's not a coincidence, my nigga. Like, there's people in my life with the same shit. Patterns always follow them. 
They follow what people all the time over the same shit. Why? Not everybody's out to get you, my nigga. It's you. It's you. That's it. I don't hate nobody for it, but you got to handle your shit. I have too much shit going on up chat. I have too much shit going on in my life. Bro, chat to be worried about a fucking grown ass man pillow talking to about me with his fucking mods, nigga. Jesus Christ! I have a fucking Nike sponsorship ad to post right now. I'm talking about fucking burp, drop them off, nigga. And listen, let me get into one more thing. Let me get into let me get into one more thing before I get off this bitch. You TikTok stupid ass brain dead autistic motherfuckers. Listen, dumbass nigga. I was on the phone. So if y'all don't know, Kai pulled up on Aiden, Aiden Ross, my lover, for a surprise birthday, like for surprise birthday on some shit. But during my stream. While I have a 5 a.m. flight, I have to leave my house at 3 a.m. And I hadn't packed. Aiden calls me at 12, talking about some, yo, come over to Miami, which is an hour and some change away from me. Come to Dave and Butt, whatever. I'm like, yo, bro, I can't. I got to pack going on a flight. I wish I'd known sooner. Right? He's like, all right, cool, bet. Kai comes. I'm like, yo, Kai, why didn't you tell me I'm coming? Why, you, you came. Why are these dumbass TikTok niggas talking about some, basically, Rage was only going to know if you knew Kai was going. I mean, bro, he did get invited to go. Can't get mad at Kai. Nigga. Kai known he was pulling up on Aiden for two weeks. I would say if I known in advance, I would have pulled up. You dumbass nigga. If I had time. If I knew before, one hour before I needed to pack for my flight. Stupid. Are y'all are y'all dumb, my nigga? Are you, are you, are y'all, are y'all niggas brain dead, nigga? I was 20 when we met. Bro was literally invited. Yo, Trevor, kill yourself, stupid nigga. What the fuck are, no, no! 20, 20 or 21. 23 is not old, though, bro. I think. Bro, what are they still, what are they still? I'm sorry. Listen. I'm about to end this bitch. I have a, your age. X phase, X Nike post to retweet and to post on my story and shit. I'm about to get the fuck out of here, nigga. Alright. Do whatever the fuck y'all want with this fuck ass stream. I'll be back tomorrow for for like a 10 hour stream. We're gonna watch the fights. We gonna, we got games to play. We got Gen V to watch. We got do we got a lot of shit to do tomorrow. Like a 10 hour stream minimum. Alright, Bruce, I'll talk to you when I talk to you. Uh, I probably have more to talk about, but I don't get it. I'm out of here, guys. Love y'all, niggas. Yeah.